G'day, I'm Mark from Self Fishing Me and well, it's been a rocky start to our fishing trip today. We expected it to be flat as a tack because that's what the weatherman said, but someone forgot to tell the weatherman that it's gonna be pretty lumpy out here today. And because the weatherman didn't get told, we didn't get told and we're in this unexpected lumpiness. So instead of going out there for pearlies, we decided to stay in the shelter of the bay and have a go for some cods. We've never caught a big enough cod to eat yet. So if we could catch a cod that was size, I don't think, what's a Murray, Murray cod size we need to get? I think they're 38. 38. Yeah. Most cod species are. All right, so if we can get a 38 centimetre cod, we'll be very happy. That's our challenge for today. So let's get out there. <laughs> what is that? I don't That's know. something different. I've never caught these before. Huh. Yeah, look at that. It's almost like a cross between a snapper and a red emperor. Huh. That's pretty cool. Huh. Let us know what these are. Beautiful colours. Yeah. Cool. Something. Probably the same species as I caught last time. I bet it's not. I bet it's a little cod. Well. Oh, it's a... Oh, yes! The first grin of the yeah. day! Yeah! Woohoo! That's why we go out here. Yeah! It's a decent size one, too. Trophy size. What a grinner! Wow! Incredible. I can't stop grinning. Talking about making your day. Nothing like a good grinner. Okay, drop them, pop them. Yep. Bam. There's no untangling that, I don't think. Nothing like a fantastic bird's nest to start the day. I'm gonna give this a go. The old pilly stuck on a thingamajiggy. I think that looks pretty good. Feel like it feels like a bit of a brick. There was a good take. It was hit hard, but I was right onto it because I was I was just waiting. I thought we went over a ledge, and I was thinking if there's something hiding there, it's going to take me straight under. So as soon as it hit, I bloody I took it. Oh, it's a cod. There you go. It is a it is the target species. Oh no, I got my line. Oh, it's not too bad, I don't think. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, that, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, one down. Yeah. Cool. Okay, good one. Well, let's see if we can catch something a bit bigger than that. Double cross line. 
old red end problem. to get a big one of them. Skull. Straight through the skull. Straight through the back of the head. Oh, you can even see its brain. It must have just missed the top of the brain, I think. Yeah, well. Who's going to be my record? You, you getting the most grinners. Yep. I think we should name our next boat after Grinners. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped off at Cowan Cowan. We're just near that now. Got nothing there. A couple of small fish. And now we're just drifting around the bay. Nowhere specific. Just looking at different depths and seeing if we could find something special. Just taking it easy. Just sounding around. First legal fish of the day. Yeah, we didn't want to bore you through all the little grinners we've caught. Probably caught half a dozen, or probably more than a dozen, really. But this is our first legal fish. Um, I mean, they're 25 to keep. Moses Perch, but we are, we might just keep them and have them a bit of a, on a sound. Yeah, I think so. Why not? Yep, well done. First one on the board. Yes. And that's after all day too. <sighs> it's been a tough day, I tell you. Yeah, what we did was we decided to poke our nose outside of the cape. There's the tip of the cape over there. We spent most of the day in the bay back that way. And look, we caught a lot of small stuff. We caught several cods. We caught a lot of grinners, hey James. No, Heaps of grinners that we won't show you, but now that the weather's died down a bit, or the conditions, I should say, have improved, we decided to poke our nose out here and have a look out around the Cape. And yeah, James just landed our first fish of the day that was legal, so yeah, that's good. So let's continue on now and hopefully get a good bag. Best cod of the day, but still too small. This one here is 36, 38. They need to be 45 at least. Well, James just got a nice Moses perch. It's probably the biggest fish of the day. Yeah, you know, nothing to be shocked about or amazed about, about the size, but you know, it's a nice little snack. Something to take home. Pretty yeah, cool. they're all adding up. I've got a nice little tar wine. I'll be throwing that back. They're not fantastic eating in my opinion, but you know, we're getting a little feed. There we go. <clears throat> See his colors just dis disappear. So you know you got them good. I think we'll just bleed them overboard. Just did a double hook up on these silver trevors. They're great sushi. Now they're pretty small. There's no size limit on these things, but we're gonna keep these two. 
yeah. we, they took it on the drop and they're great eating so why not I think this is a what is this big snaps big snapper oh, it's a good snapper well done Woo! yeah finally nice fish dad caught a snapper just before and it was uh, just under 35 it was just 34 or you could say 34.9 but this one you know that's just going to be just past 35 you know oh i think that's 40, 40. maybe 43 yeah, exactly. yeah yeah for sure we've been seeing a few cods come up as well you, you can't see them with the camera but they've been coming up and going back down we've been trying to catch them no luck oh it's a grassy grassy yes yes Ripper. yes that's a good grassy that is a good grassy they only have to be 25 or 30 don't they yeah yeah well obviously double check but yeah i'm pretty sure they don't have to be that big that one looks about 40 38 at least probably 40. yeah yeah i'd say around 38. yeah all right there we go that's a good catch back well we're on the way back we had a good session we saved the day in the afternoon and so what we're going to do now is i'll fill you in when we get back there we're also going to do a bit of a cook up but until then we just got to get home that's all we've got to do it's got a bit gnarly again but we had a great afternoon session and i want to tell you all about it plenty of limes too many Well, we're just letting the rain wash our boat. There's nothing like fresh water from the sky to wash a boat that's been out in salt water. <laughs> Saves us doing all the work. No, I'm kidding. I mean, that does help, but we're also washing our own boat. But I have to say, uh, as I creep around this boat here to take you to the end and away from that uh, screaming bird we were really happy with how that fishing trip went i can tell you now we were just about to give up we really were close in fact james and i both looked at each other and said bugger it let's just go i've had enough but something in us that fisherman instinct and uh you know dogmatic desire to catch something uh, made us decide to go out past the Cape and I'm glad we did so you can see what and the results speak for themselves I think it's a pretty good haul and it's something we wouldn't have got if we didn't try a little bit harder and go out further and thankfully the weather switched for us and it was it ended up being a really good day we tried on the ceviche with that Trevelli I tell you what, Trevor, doesn't taste too bad ceviche up. I think you should give it a try. And we ate the rest of the fish just normally fried up and a little bit of flour. Sometimes that's just the best way to do it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a fishy thumbs up, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I nearly squibbed that one.
Cheers.